Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another retro shiz look back at the past with a brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends retro carded Spider Man the Animated Series action figure. Say that all in one go. But it shipped in a wee bit early from the Walmart Collector Con, which is always a plus, but straight from Spider Man the Animated Series, we have Hobie Brown, the Prowler. And he looks oh so good with that card art, the plastic bubble. It's a really nice sturdy card if you're going to be keeping him on the card. On the back side, you have all of that Harry Moore design goodness. The illustrations are always top notch. And I especially love the Ikea sort of illustrations. And please do head over to Instagram and check out Harry Moore design there. You will not be disappointed. Give him the old follow as well. And there is actually a bio of which it's the premise of the Prowler episode from Spider-Man the Animated Series. Thank you for doing that. See, it wasn't so hard, right? <laughs> Here's the barcode. Now, here's the thing. They have said that it could hit store shelves at Walmart as it being an exclusive, but it's up in the air. So I would say, as I'll put a link down in the description below, if you want it, you can order it now directly because who knows if it'll actually hit store shelves. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends from their retro carded Spider-Man, the animated series toy line, Hobie Brown, the Prowler. So now here is everything out of the packaging. You get an unmasked head portrait, you get a couple hands, and you get a pretty decently looking Prowler, I will say. Straight from the animated series, but you know me, I'm going to nitpick it to death because I love the show, and well, that's why you're all here, right? So in the case of the extra hands, you got fisted hands. They're more of a metallic purple, which doesn't really fit the show, but in the case of making fisted hands to launch a blast, which that would have been a nice touch to throw that in there, some sort of gauntlet blast. That would have been really cool. Posing him out with the fisted hand looks great, but just saying that extra accessory really would have brought him to life. And it's kind of funny when you watch the show and then in terms of the figure because he has those long talony claws, how he makes that fist. It's anyone's guess. But a nice aspect of this new Prowler is the unmasked Hobie Brown head portraits. And it is spot on for being a more realistic take for the animated show, even in looking at these stills before he becomes the Prowler and then after he becomes the Prowler, they have nailed the face portrait. He's got the flat top, the skin color, everything looks good, everything matches the animated series, even when going up and meeting Peter Parker in his new apartment. Yeah, you can recreate those scenes. And that little bit of oomph really does bring this to life for me, especially when you want to take the mask off, which a mask off accessory would have been cool as well. But like I said, in his conversations with Peter Parker, telling him his history, it totally works. And I dig it. And in really how this episode is told, it really does work out, especially if you have figures like the Kingpin, which could use a little bit of an animated sprucing up, just saying. And in terms of the actual figure, I think they have done quite a great job in capturing the tone, the look, the personality that Hobie Brown gives off in Spider-Man, the animated series. Some of the purple is off. He's not all just one color in the animated series. The mask to the neck is a little bit different to the cape. You get the idea. So they didn't match that, but that head portrait is spot on. I absolutely love it. The green, that's good. The symbol on the chest, that's good. All the way down to the legs, the cape, the gauntlets. Sure, that totally works. It is doable. It's passable for the character of the Prowler, although some spring-loaded gauntlets would have been nice, right? <laughs> the one thing I'll point out, and the one thing that irks me is the belt, because it's just like, here you go, right? Now, the belt buckle plays a very poignant role in the episode because it's a bomb strapped to him of which he can remove and then help him and Spider-Man escape the clutches of the Kingpin. So my request to customizers out there, whomever can make just a tiny little attachable belt buckle, 
I'm your man. Hit me up because I want to buy it from you because that's the one caveat to this whole figure. Otherwise, everything else totally works. But you know I'm going to nitpick it, like I said, because that's what you come here for, to hear my thoughts. The only problem I would see with this figure are the bands that wrap around his legs one of them has decided to consistently fall off if you even remotely touch it. The other side isn't budging. Cape is gorgeous. I absolutely love the cape this time around. It's so much better than the prior released Prowler, and it's very malleable, so it really doesn't get in the way of when you want to pose this guy around. Through and through, the articulation is solid. He's pinless. It's all the great articulation that you would expect from a Hasbro Marvel Legends action figure. Now, to look at what's come before as to what we got now in terms of Marvel Legends, yes, it is a definite upgrade in the sense of this is definitely Spider-Man the Animated Series. Again, it's also kind of first appearance, while this one was more of a modernish kind of take at that time for the Prowler. So this one's a going bye-bye, and the new Prowler definitely takes the cake. And then just to show you the scale comparisons between all of the other quote unquote animated series figures, Mary Jane, Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Yes, those definitely fit. Kingpin, not so much. It's kind of a color scheme that was originally supposed to be the character for the animated series. You can go watch my video on that if you're interested. But yes, update the Kingpin, make him more animated series and give him a new head portrait. I would love that. You know what else I'd love? An iceberg figure. That would be amazing, especially on that new tombstone suited body. It wouldn't take much. Just make the suit white to give him a really cool looking iceberg head portraits. And don't forget the ice gun. Boom. There you go. Iceberg. Make it happen, Marvel Legends. That would be amazing. So that is going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Walmart exclusive straight from the Hasbro Marvel Legends retro carded Spider-Man the Animated Series line. Hobie Brown, the Prowler. <laughs> it's like Ace Ventura. This is a pretty great figure. I like it. It's going in my Spider-Man the Animated Series collection. It is one of the best Spider-Man the Animated Series figures that they have done. Minus a few things here and there, which I would have loved to have seen. But all the personality in the accessories, the unmasked head portrait, it's there. The belt buckle, really wish that would have been something of a little bit more importance. But you've heard my thoughts, and so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything the Prowler. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep bringing on the Spider-Man, the animated series figures. And with X-Men 97 doing so well, I'm sure there's a lot more to come. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.